back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make uh, this ruffled off shoulder top and for that i'm going to be using this piece of fabric that i have um i don't know if it's up to two yards it's an akara fabric but i cut it out from something so it's not even the sides are not uh, regular so like see the sides this is what the fabric looks like so i'm going to try to make out a top from it but i think to make this top you might be you might need like up to two yards or two, no one and a half yard of fabric not two yards one and a half so i'm going to start the uh the tutorial now so guys the first thing i'm going to do is to fold my fabric into two so i'm going to start with this end here um but you can start with any other side of your fabric but i figured i better start with this uh, part here so to cut this um I'm, the body of the my bust measurement is what i'm going to be using to find uh, the width of this fabric so guys uh the bust measurement i'm working with is uh, uh 41 divided by four so i'm going to have a 10.25 uh, right so so i'm just going to say 10.5 right and then i'm going to add extra a uh, half an inch to it so that will give me 11 and then extra one inch to it so that will give me 12 so i'm going to be working with 12 here so what you're going to do is you fold the fabric divide your me bust measurement by four add half an inch for um, ease because you don't want it too tight on your bust and then you um, add one inch for your seam allowance so that's 1.5 that you added the next thing i'm going to do is where the where i want this top to start on me so i want the top to start at eight inches right i want it to start at eight i want it lower so eight inches i'm going to add extra 1.5 to it so that's going to be at uh, 6.5 here you see where the tape is so i added extra 1.5 so this is my one inch here and then plus extra half an inch here so this here is um 6.5 is where my tape is this is for folding the top part here so i can be able to add elastic to it so that's that's it for this top part so coming down to this bottom part here i'm going to um the the, the length of this top will be about uh like the tube part of the top before the elastic at the lower part is going to be nine inches so if i add nine inches to the eight inches where the where it's supposed to be the beginning of the top because remember this um 1.5 that we added on top of this eight is going to be folded right so basically my top is starting at eight so i want so this part to be folded so i want these eight inches and then i'll check what my bust and uh, like a tube on me would uh, the length what it would be so for me it's going to be about nine inches so i'm going to count from eight one two three four five six seven eight nine so at i'm going to stop at uh, 17 for my tube so i'm going to add extra 4.5 inches to it because if you look at the top you see that it has a ruffle at the bottom so i'm going to add extra 4.5 inches to the length so that will be um so my top is at 17 i'm going to add extra 4.5 so that will be one two three four points points so this is going to be 21.5 so this is where i'm going to mark it so this is basically going to be the length of the top here so i'm going to mark it here and cut it out so guys i've cut out a uh, two piece of this i've cut out two pieces one for my back panel one for the front uh, panel so the next thing i'm going to do is to come in by two inches at the end here mark it here and then go down um so remember my sleeve here is at uh the the the, the upper part of this is at 6.5 right so put back your tape at 6.5 and then come down for what your armhole is going to be so for me i'm going to co come down by up to 11 inches here right because remember remember i'm still going to fold this top part here so at least i have this much as my armhole so i'm coming down by um, up to 11 here so mark it here so basically whatever because my armhole will normally be 10 right so but i'm not using up all these lengths half of it is still going to be folded in so that's why i added extra one inch or you can even make it 1.5 so when you take away the 1.5 that you added on top here you still have your 1.5 added um down here so that's so this is going to be my sleeve uh, my armhole so that's basically it for the body of this top 
the next thing i'm going to cut now is the sleeve of the top so guys now i'm going to cut out the sleeve of the top i'm going to set the body of the top aside so to cut the um, um, sleeve you just have to check what the sleeve length is going to be so remember my sleeve is going to start about um, the same probably like six inches down is where my sleeve is going to start right so about somewhere here for my shoulder so from this six inches now what i have left is about 22 right so let me bring down the tape from here so six inches is down here so 17 is what i should be working with for my sleeve length here so i'm going to cut out 17 i'm going to cut out um 17 with a few inches added so I'm going to add 1.5 to the top part and 1.5 to the lower part. If you want the sleeve puffy and have some length to it, maybe you can add the 1.5 at the top, 1.5 at the bottom, and then add extra 2 inches in between the length so that the sleeve, you can be able to just pull it and have that uh, puffiness. Instead, it's going to just be straight. So that will be a total of 5 inches added to whatever your length is going to be. So I'm going to uh, mark cut mine out now so guys this is the sleeve here i cut out two pieces here so guys i made my sleeve uh 20 inches uh is what i'm using here that's including the one inch for seam allowance on both sides so it's going to be 18 inches at the end right width of 18 inches and then i have a i have a extra one inch for seam allowance so that's why i have 20 inches for the width and then the length is going to be 17 and then the 17 i added extra five inches to it that's one inch for folding the top part and passing elastic no 1.5 for folding the top part and passing elastic 1.5 for folding the bottom and passing the elastic and extra two inches in case like when the sleeve puffs it has some room to it it's not like straight and puffy like it has some puffy uh next to even the length too so it, it makes it look bigger but i don't want it that big so this is the sleeve so what i'm going to do is put it this way get the top part the body of the top place it on this here place it directly on this and then trace it out so i'm going to trace this out now so guys what i'm going to do now is go to the sewing machine this is one piece here open it up and then this is my sleeve so what i'm going to do is take one of the sleeves attach it this way like if i open it up this way hold it make a stitch all the way around here right so hold it together get the second part of this top and then do the same on this side too with the sleeve right do the same on this side with the sleeve make a stitch here right close make a stitch here and then get the um the, the, the other part of the top put it here get the other end of the sleeve make a stitch holding it together make a stitch here holding the other end of the sleeve together and then when i'm done i'm going to close up fold the end of this sleeve like make the loop for my elastic right make a loop for the elastic and then close up the sides so i'm going to do that and come back so guys i've finished uh, the body so basically the same thing i explained i folded the top part here i first attached the sleeve to the side and then i folded the top part all the way around and left like a loop here to pass the elastic just folded that 1.5 inch that i added to the top remember we added it to the top i added it to the sleeve and then i also folded the end of this uh the other 1.5 i left at the end of the sleeve i folded it to make the loop for the elastic at the end and then at the end at the bottom here after that i closed up this side made a stitch all the way like i made a stitch all the way from here came in here all the way down the same on this side when i finished and then i folded this back this way like i folded it this way again that uh, extra 2.5 uh, for the bottom here i folded it and then made two stitches here as you can see there's two stitches here one at the top for the holding it down and then the extra one here so that i can pass the elastic i'm going to pass elastic here so when i pass the elastic now i'll have the ruffle this end here will now be the ruffle so i'm going to go and pass my elastic on these two sleeves the bottom here which is this uh the first loop here and then on the top here 
so so guys this is the top it's done and yeah look at the shoulder here and this is the bottom part here this is the ruffle see the sleeve here this is what it looks like this is the second sleeve here and i also made two so this is the second one here so this is what the second one looks like so thank you guys i uh, yeah for this second one I added ruffle too at the top part you could see but the first one is just plain right but this second one has like a ruffle at the top at the shoulder and ruffle at the bottom so you just make if you want to do this type just maybe use about three inches here when you fold it you then make a second stitch just the way you did for the bottom make a second stitch on top and then pass elastic on at the center and that is it so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.